so I'm getting married. Uh, <laughs> one of the lovely things about the man that I'm marrying is that he has never asked me to change anything about myself. This is a very weird job. We're on a ship and I'm telling jokes, like those things don't go together. Uh, <laughs> He's always been very respectful of my job. He's never asked that I not go on the road, that I not go to work, that I not take a gig. The only thing he's ever asked that I not do was a couple weeks ago, we were getting ready for bed, and I came out dressed, and he looked at me and he went, babe, uh, <clears throat> love you. Um, <laughs> can you not wear men's basketball shorts to bed? <laughs> and I was like, interesting request, proceed. <laughs> He goes, uh, love you, uh, I think you're beautiful. Uh, it's just that I'm not as attracted to you and I don't really want to have sex with you when you're in men's basketball shorts. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's the idea. Thanks for the ring, fucker! He's sitting in the back, he's like, no, we fuck. I mean. <laughs> My dad's also here, so that was a weird take. Okay, so. <laughs> so a big part of getting married, I found out, is that you have to buy a wedding dress. And this is just one more milestone in our lives as women where other women don't clue us in on how terrible it actually is. We all say that we're girls, girls, and feminists, but none of us like give the truth about girl things. We act like it's all sugar and spice and effortless. I keep all my cereal in canisters like a psychopath. I'm doing it, <laughs> yoga, okay? Everything, every big thing in a woman's life. You, how old, you had your period? Welcome to being a woman. There's no homegirl that's like, come here. You're gonna wanna rip out your ovaries and you're gonna hate your body and you're gonna cry and you're gonna want a lot of chocolate and you're gonna probably not even go to school and your skin's gonna break out. Welcome to womanhood, get in the game. They don't say that, okay? Oh, you're having a baby. Oh, it's so beautiful. Come here. You're gonna shit yourself. <laughs> and then society's gonna judge you because you didn't get your body back like that, okay? <laughs> you're getting a wedding dress. Oh, it's so magical. So magical. You, you show up. It's so magical. You show up. Your mother is there. She doesn't tell you you look tired. <laughs> You've lost so much weight. Every dress just cascades off of you. And a modeling coach walks by and he's like, she's too beautiful for the runway. You can't. And you stand there and your best friends are there and they, and none of them are jealous. And a dove brings you the perfect silken and it just, hey. no. What it is, is you standing there at a dress shop in West Hollywood with your mom on FaceTime asking you how FaceTime works. You're like, did you get money? Has somebody here you? And there's just some Russian seamstress at the bottom, like your hips are too wide for this cut. You should not try it on. <laughs> and then you go eat Chick-fil-A. Like that's buying a wedding dress. <laughs> so I was trying on wedding dresses and I figured I should go with a big princess dress because that's the chance to wear it. So I put it on and I come out <laughs> and I realized that if that's the kind of dress you wear, like if you extrapolate your wedding dress from the actual day, you're dressed like a lunatic. <laughs> For like deeply disturbing psychological reasons. You were like, I'm a pretty princess. <laughs> I'm a pretty, no, you're Gabby and you work in HR. You are not a pretty, no, no, I'm a pretty princess. And all of your maids have to agree with you. They're like, yes, fairest of them all. <laughs> no, I'm a pretty princess, I'm a ballerina princess because I have ballerina shoes because I'm daddy's ballerina. I'm a pretty princess. Bring me Snow White's heart on a platter. <laughs> So I was trying all different kinds of dresses and there's this weird phenomenon with women. When you try on more than three articles of clothing, there is no fourth, you just start crying. <laughs> there's something about incandescent lighting hitting your fat cells that actually makes them multiply on the spot. And then you start to get angry. And you ever do this move where you hit your fat, hoping to pop it, it doesn't pop. It just leaves a bruise and you can't wear shorts, okay? So I started to get upset and I did the mistake that all women do. I started to get angry about something on my body I couldn't control. Every girl's got a thing that she hates about herself that's impossible to change. For me, I don't like how tall I am. That makes it sound like I'm tall. I wish I were taller. <laughs> so tall. To you, you're like, oh, she's so tall because I'm this big on your TV and there's a stage. But I am 5'5", five five, and it kills me. <laughs> it kills me because it's not short enough that it's like, oh my God, do you shop at Gap Kids? You're so petite. No. 
And it's not tall enough that people assume I'm a natural athlete. I'm just this average 5'5 member of the proletariat marching to pick a size seven shoe. Like it's just bleh. Anytime you tell another woman what you don't like about yourself, they never let you say it, right? No, don't say it. Oh, I would kill to have your hair. I would kill to have your beak. I love your feathers. Like, it's, it's... <laughs> So I'm sitting there getting ready to pick out a dress for a wedding, for my wedding, and I was angry. And that's not an emotion that you want to attach to your wedding. And I started to feel sad. And I don't know about you, but for me, when I get upset about something, I attach it to literally everything else in my life, and it spirals. It's never the one that's not about the dress. Like it just goes like that. And I started to get really angry about my body because it wasn't fitting perfectly into the right dress that I wanted at the right time. And I stopped and I was like, if I'm feeling this way right now, then there's gotta be other women who feel this way. And so I'm gonna say this because I wish that I had given myself this pep talk that day. Here's the truth. Girls, your bodies are perfect and normal and functional and beautiful. There's always one girl in the back with a horn. Like, what about me? No. <laughs>